Hi, welcome back. We're at the Helping Hand Thrift Store in downtown Detroit Lakes with Jennifer Benzik. Hello. Welcome. It seems like a while since we've been here. It has been a while. We were not here last week. We had that very special program. Yes, and we did. It was fun to see all the things that the refuge is all about and, yeah. and uh, how the thrift store here works into that. Yeah. So it, it, it's a it's a good thing. Yeah, it is a very good thing. It was nice to have that. And who is our little <laughs> guest here? You know, we don't have a name for her yet. Um, we're taking ideas, though, if anybody has an idea on, <laughs> on a name for her. She, she appeared the end of last week. Um, she came in late on Friday, I think, and I had come in on Sunday um, to get my power cord for my computer, and I came walking back here, and I saw her standing here, and it scared <laughs> me so much because I hadn't seen her, and she was just right there, and it scared me because it was dark in here. <laughs> it's just one of the things that I was walking through this morning each week when we're here. There's something that we need to feature or, or pay attention to or uh -huh. whatever, and I hadn't seen her before. <laughs> I think she kind of likes you. Well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> But it's just just the, the the way that things go. It's it's the greening of Detroit Lakes. The greening we're, of Detroit we're, Lakes. We're yes. using things and whatnot. You, maybe in the background, I'm not sure if Carrie can uh, cap capture that. But it's a unique kind of uh, that looks like a, a cottage kind of set, yes, doesn't it, it? It does. Either that or something decorated for St. Patrick's Day. Sure, and of course that's passed. <laughs> that's passed by that's, now. But look, looking ahead <laughs> to the summer and whatnot, um, uh, and the whole greening thing, we're reusing things. Yep. People are passing on. Passing on and, to others. And, yes. And uh, there's always something new here. Well, and I was going to say, you never know what you're going to see when you come to the Helping Hand Thrift Store. <laughs> no, no. We, we'll have to find a name for Miss Green here. I think we will. Yeah, I yeah. think we so, will. So you had a sale last week, and we uh, from did. what I've seen this morning, things are looking good. Lots of bags going out. Yep. And you're continuing that on now. We had a sale last week. It was $4 for a grocery bag, a large grocery bag full of clothes, men's, women's, kids, shoes, anything um, for $4. That was last week. This week we're continuing the sale, but we're dropping the price to $2 a bag. So you, you just have so much stuff you need to clear out. We do, and that's what it is. We have, we have our entire floor is jam-packed with clothes, plus we have our back room, tons of stuff waiting to come out, and we have a lot of things in storage too. So um, a lot of the stuff that is on, clothes that's on the floor right now is winter and fall. Um, but it's a good way to, to get ready for next year to stock up with with that stuff. Sure. Um, we do have we have been bringing out um, t-shirts and shorts and things like that. So there is summer and, and spring stuff out there as well. But um, but yeah, like I said, we're continuing the sale to next week for two dollars a bag. So okay. or, I'm okay. sorry to this week. <laughs> okay. So now I know that <clears throat> so many people are doing cleaning and, mm -hmm. and whatnot this time of year. So there is just so many you know, uh, options for uh, people to. To, to bring in and, yep. and it's 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 time it is yep yep and we're still doing our pickups on Wednesday afternoons um, we try and schedule our pickups uh, donation pickups um, larger items furniture or or big big um, big loads um, if Wednesday afternoon does not work for you we can schedule something else throughout the week so okay and I know that works for big things too yep. I mean I'm sitting here on a dryer yeah, yep. yeah, so brings me up a little taller. Brings you up a little taller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you needed to sit next to your friend yeah, here. Yeah, so. <laughs> a little Miss Greeny. So, but anyway, um, uh, 9 to 6. 9 to 6, Monday, Monday through, through Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Bring stuff in. Yep. Uh, you know, have stuff picked up. Um, lots of stuff going on here. Lots of stuff going on always. So, but, well, good to have you with us again. Good to be here. And uh, we'll talk again next week. Sounds good. So, have a good week. Okay, welcome back. Here with Randy. No, I'm sorry. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Dave. Yes, how are you doing? Great. Good. Great. We're back here at the, the Helping Hand Thrift Store. Randy here, the uh, community coordinator for the the refuge. Yeah. And what do you have to tell us today? Well, I, you know, we wanted to make mention it's a green day. The word today is green. It's green grass. Everything's growing green. And you guys got to be in front of some green stuff. And and uh, we wanted to make mention J.C. Penney's, you guys. J.C. Penney's has been so supportive of us and helpful. They've been giving us beautiful display cases and cabinets and shelving. And we just want to put a real shout out to J.C. Penney's and thanks a lot for all that you've been doing for us. For sure, for sure. It's just nice how things can carry on and, and uh, benefit other 
folks in, in different ways. Yeah, you betcha. Things, Speaking so. of that, benefiting different folks in different ways, uh, the week before last we talked about asking our community to come in and support uh, the refuge financially and come on board and, and uh, team up with us and, and partner up with us more so. Uh, lately, our newest adventure is that we got our city uh, permit to have a Hope Fest 2012, which will be taking a place on our land out on Tower Road. Uh, it's by behind DL Overhead Doors and uh, Jesus' Real Church. It's right behind there in the field. We're going to put up a big tent and have uh, four days of festivities. The biggest one is going to be Saturday. We're going to bring Medora to Detroit Lakes, and we're going to have Pitchfork Fondue. That'll be exciting. Yeah, we're that, looking that forward to it. It is going to be a fun event, and, and yeah. the weather is going to be perfect that day, I've we heard. We know it. We know I've it. I've heard, yes, yeah. yes. So. Um, so it's going to be a youth night on Thursday night, and then we're going to have speakers and preachers and musicians and uh, worship teams and all kinds of events going on. You won't want to miss this. So, um, and it's open to the public to uh, just pop out there? And you betcha. It's open to all the community from 9 to it's going to be from 7 to 10 each night, and all day Saturday, 11 to 7, will be the Pitchfork Fondue. You can come out for that, and it's all a fundraiser. Our goal is to reach $50,000 for the organization. We want to get the men's homeless shelter done. We want to get the refuge kicked off. We want to get the thrift store doing big and amazing things here. So this is our big outreach for this and uh, yeah. the community to come on board and look work, work with us on sure. this. And everything is going well at, at those locations? You betcha. The drive through okay. again is open at 7 a.m. at the 921 Southeast 8th Street. We got our drive through open and everything is moving very quickly and very, very good. Okay, just a great part uh, of Detroit Lakes. And you betcha. So glad to have you with us again. And, glad and to be here, Dave. Th thanks for watching and, and we'll see you again next week.